Hi, Taurus. This is Starbright. I'm here to do your reading for December the 21st through the 28th. This is not going to resonate with everyone, so please do not get mad. It's not your story. This is going to be for the sun, the moon, rise of Venus, and Jupiter. <clears throat> Taurus. What messages you have for Taurus, spirit? What messages you have for Taurus, December the 21st through the 28th with truth and clarity? What messages for Taurus? You got the four of hearts here. A wedding is going to be in your near future. A wedding is going to be in your near future. What else for Taurus, spirit? What else for Taurus? Eight of club. Next winter, you're going to go on a long trip. What else for Taurus, spirit? What else for Taurus? King of club. Do not give him any hope. What else for Taurus, spirit? What else for Taurus? Nine of club. I'm the nine of hearts. Be careful in your business dealing for the next few days. Be careful in your business dealing in the next few days. What else for Taurus? Ace of Diamonds. Hey, a ring. Some of you guys will be picking out a ring. <laughs> At the bottom of the deck, deck. Ten of Hearts. Happiness, you want a happiness from an unexpected source. Happiness from an unexpected source. All right, Taurus. It says a wedding is going to be in your near future. Taurus, a wedding is going to be in your near future. Why this card is here for Taurus? A wedding in your, it's going to be a wedding in your near future for you, Taurus. Why this card is here? Show me the cards I need to see and speak. With truth and clarity for Taurus. With a Scorpio or with a Libra. Or with someone that knows how to balance their emotions. Hmm. This is someone could have some kind of addiction. And this is something that you're not gonna like about this person because this person don't show don't don't show you any emotions. Tell me more about this devil or a Capricorn. <laughs> There's someone that knows how to balance their emotion could be with a Capricorn. Tell me more about this devil. With some okay, I see. Now thank you, Spirit. <clears throat> A wedding is going to be in your near future with someone that knows how to balance their emotion. That's what you don't. That's what you don't like about this person. And this is someone that willing to change. Could be a Sagittarius. This person is willing to change for you. You could have met this person at work, out and about, or on or on the internet. This is one could be feeling sad. Because a loss of a late relationship or a job or possession. Or oh, this is one who made you sad. This is one who's going to see you as a missed opportunity. You're different from everybody else. This is someone that's willing to put this work in with you. This is one that wants to... Uh, 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 turn their life around for you. This is the one that you could have cut this person out of your life, or this person could have cut you out of their life, and you're gonna receive this. You're gonna receive an unexpected message from this person. This is one that's very attracted to you. That person like the way you look, and how you dress. That person like the way that you like black, like to wear black things, and you're spiritual. This person wants this family with you. This is someone who want to move a common waters with you. This person sees a future with you. This is one that you had to talk with this person. Hmm. I see marriage in your near future. Okay. 
Eight of Club. It says the next winter, some of you guys going to go on a long trip with someone that's very deceitful. <laughs> this is someone that betrayed you. This is one that's going to see you as someone unattainable. This is the one been up and down. You feel like this person be up, up and down with you, or this one been going back and forth, wanting to send you a message. This person is looking back. This person tired of fighting with you. This one to see you as one lawyer, or grounded, a good business person. Hmm, you going on a trip with someone that betrayed you. <laughs> okay. Ken. It says do not give them any hope. Who is this person that Taurus should not give them any hope? Who is this person that Taurus should not give any hope to, Spirit? Show me what I need to see and speak. Someone that's getting their karma. Someone is getting their karma. Karma. This is when you wanted justice from this person. It says, do not give this person any hope. Someone that you wanted justice. This is the one to see you as someone don't need him or him or her. This person's burdened by this. This one could have been hiding things, keeping things a secret, a marriage, or Aries, or that person could be living together with someone. This is one who could have ghost you. Spirit said, don't give that person any hope. <laughs> All right. Nine of hearts. Be careful in your business dealing for the next few days. Spirit said, be careful in your business dealing. Ooh, this just flew out. Spirit said, walk away. Walk away. Be careful in your next business dealing in the next two days. Spirit said, you need to walk away. So that you can take things to the next level because this person is going to try to manipulate you. Walk away. Oh, try to see what else is out there before you take action because this person is going to try to manipulate you. Spirit trying to warn you. Okay, Ace of Diamond. I'm going to pull up the rest of this card. I want to know about this ring. We're going to get to the nitty gritty. going to find out about this ring. <laughs> A ring. Spirit, tell me more about this ring for Taurus with truth and clarity. What about this ring? Show the cards I need to see and speak. A ring. Why this card is here? A ring for Taurus with truth and clarity. Why is this ring is here for Taurus with truth and clarity? Hmm. Someone wants to equal give and take with you. Some of you guys will get a blessing from the universe. You getting a blessing from the universe. Someone wants to marry you because you gave. You was given to others. You was given to people that are of need. You was giving people your money, your time, your energy, like the homeless people or someone that you you were just giving people information that they needed. Yeah, and you're being blessed by the universe. It's like what a Sagittarius. Someone want to offer you a ring could be. Uh, uh, a Sagittarius want to offer you a ring, and I see a what's that? A Taurus. Hmm. Okay. Someone want to offer you a ring. You've been blessed. The universe are blessing you. This is one. This Taurus is feeling very uh, guilty, or that person feeling very regretful because they break from you. Hmm. This person is coming in to commit because this person feeling guilty and feeling ashamed because of something they have done to you. This is one to see you as someone who don't need don't need anybody. This person is gonna be feeling left out in the cold, feeling all alone because they had this is one that had your relationship on hold. Because of their career, their job. That's why this person bread from you because of their job, their career they was in. Now this person want to marry you. Or this person could already be married with kids. This want to see you as their soulmate. This person been going back and forth, want to see your message. Hmm. This is the one that the person don't know how you really feel about them now. This is one who want to take things to the next level with you. This person going to try to use every trick in the book to get you. This is one that wants to apologize to you. This one to see a future with you. Somebody about to give you a ring. 
Okay. Okay. It says happiness from an unexpected source. Show me the parts I need to see and speak for Taurus. Gonna be happiness from an unexpected source. Taurus. Happiness from an unexpected source. For someone that wants victory with you. Hmm. I see a Leo is here. This is someone from your past, a Leo. Happiness from an unexpected source from a Leo or a Scorpio or from someone from your past. Or you have kids with this person. This is someone who heart could have been closed off to you. This is one who wants this long-term commitment with you. Person see you as this empress. This is one that you had an ending with this person. This person weren't willing to change for you. Yeah, this is one you had a talk with this person. Your relationship was not built on a solid ground when you were dealing with this person. This person want to be happy with you. That person see you as the one that's going to make them happy. And this person is coming in with a love offer. Hmm. This is the one that wants to travel to come see you. To marry you. Ha! You got somebody want to travel to come see you to marry you. <laughs> An Aries. A Sagittarius. A Scorpio. A younger Cancer Pisces Scorpio. I see a Leo here. Aries Leo Sag. Scorpio, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Libra, Scorpio, hmm, a Pisces, and a Leo. All right, what's overall energy? What's overall energy for this reading for Taurus? Overall energy for this reading for Taurus. Hmm, somebody see you as someone unattainable. Could be a Pisces, see you as someone unattainable. That's why this person been holding back. This is the one could be sad because they let you get away. This is one could see you as someone uh, nurturing, caring, and giving. And this person wants to balance things out with you. This is one could be angry with you. Or this person could have some kind of addiction. Could be a Capricorn. This person wants to see you a passionate message. But you're going to, you gonna, this is someone you, you see this person that's acting childish when they send you this message. Because this person wants this long term commitment with you. This person see you as an ideal partner, and you're going to get a lot of messages coming in from this person speaking the truth to you about someone they saw was a twin flame. They took that leap of faith with this person. They had a reunion with this person, but now this person all stressed out, not getting to sleep because of this person. Hmm. This is the one that took a break from them. Hmm. And that person was very deceitful. Thank you, Spirit. All right. Things about to change. <laughs> Some things about to change. And the ball is going to be in your court. Not their court, but your court. <laughs> All right. Taurus, if you're new to my channel, subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button. Hit that notification button. You will know when I'm on. You can be dealing with all signs here because all the cards are laid out. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Aries, Leo, Sag, Berkeley, Capricorn, Taurus. Until next time, you guys. Bye-bye.